Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 12 of Westeros Craft Walks with your host, Dutch Guard. Today we're here on the island of Driftmark, the seat of House Valerian. Um, not to be confused with the Valerians, or ancient Valeria, um, though the Valerians do come from Valeria, and they came here to Westeros, uh, along with the Targaryens, before the doom of Valeria, and they settled here on the island of Driftmark. Uh, Dragonstone, the seat of the Targaryens, is nearby, and they settled here um, to create their own little pocket of Valyria um, by Blackwater Bay. Uh, so, uh, like Dragonstone, Driftmark is a volcanic island, or at least was a volcanic island. We're here on the lip of the mouth of the volcano. You can see it there filled up with uh, murky-looking water. Uh, we've got this dark stone here, some obsidian patches around, and we've got nature sort of springing back up into life here. Um, you can see down there the town of Hull, which is one of the uh, two towns of Driftmark. Uh, just over there you can see the edge of Spice Town, which is the other town. Um, so, on Driftmark, uh, we have several caves uh, where dragons, wild dragons and tame dragons, uh, stayed uh, during the reign of the Targaryens. Um, or at least when dragons were around. They're not really around anymore. And you can see some skulls and bones down there, and that marks the entrance to this cave here. Uh, so let's just peek inside. I won't go all the way down in there. Uh, we've got some more bones here. And uh, this is where some of the dragons of Driftmark stayed. I know one of them was called Sheep Stealer. And uh, you can probably <laughs> probably guess why he got that name. So let's head down the volcano here into the town of Hull. Um, so to give you a little more insight into where Driftmark is located, uh, Driftmark is paired with Dragonstone. It's just a little bit to the west of Dragonstone. And they're both um, at a place called the Gullet, which is a, a strait leading into Blackwater Bay and towards King's Landing uh, from the Narrow Sea. And uh, the gullet is sort of formed between Driftmark Dragonstone and Massey's Hook, which is a long hook-like peninsula coming from the mainland. And uh, it's a very strategic point for naval battles. So throughout history, you'll find the gullet uh, played a very important uh, part in, in several great wars, uh, including the Dance of Dragons, in which House Valerian played a huge role. And we're here just at the, uh, the Sept of Hull. Very pretty, all the little statues of the gods of the seven. Uh, so let's head down through the town. Uh, that there is the keep of Hull. Uh, so as I walk through, I'm just going to keep telling you about the history. So as I said, uh, the Dance of Dragons, House Valerian, uh, played a huge part in uh, in that uh, battle uh, with their dragons. Uh, it's a really interesting story. I, I can't remember all the details now, and def definitely won't do the story justice, so take a look at on your own time. Uh, the wiki has a pretty succinct summary of uh, what happened during the events of the Dance of Dragons. Uh, but all you need to know is that uh, House Valerian didn't come out unscathed. In fact, most of the island was put to the torch. I think Hull was really the only town that survived. Um, so this uh, is a really great example of a really tiny holdfast, a tiny keep that we have uh, scattered throughout the server. They're not uh, the seats of lords, or, or knights even. They're just sort of the defensive strongholds of uh, certain towns. And we just tried to cram as much of, uh, of, of detail as we can to one little building. So we've got a little armory here. Um, we've got a ladder leading up here to the tiniest rookery I've ever seen. <laughs> we've got some raven's cages here. A little gate for letting out the ravens. A little maester's bench for writing notes. Um, I don't know if there's actually a maester in this keep. That's probably not very likely. But uh, in any case, they still need the, to have the capability to, uh, to write letters and uh, send ravens. Um, probably to the castle of High Tide, which is the castle of House Valerian. Uh, so let's head out the keep, and we're going to head towards Spice Town. So the island of Driftmark was completely terraformed by hand. We actually didn't make any of this in World Painter. Uh, someone did a fantastic job of terraforming this in-game, um, using all of the textures. And we've got just the most amazing beaches, like the one you can see down there, all the way around the island. So uh, it's a really cool place to explore um, for the flora and fauna and the natural landscape. Uh, so here we are heading down into the town of Spice Town. Uh, you can see these lovely uh, little houses here with the thatched roofs. Um, we are still in the crown lands officially, so that's sort of the style we've we've used here with the dub and wattle thatched roofs being quite common. Um, I think that's a harbor master's house. Like down here, I'll show you this real quick, is a dry dock where they're making some ships. House Valerian and uh, the Driftmark fleet are uh, quite powerful. I don't know, they're probably rebuilding it now since uh, 
they haven't had the, the, the best of successes in the past naval battles. Uh, uh, that's in reference to uh, the Dance of Dragons. Um, but uh, they, they are definitely still a formidable naval force. Um, they're a little less reliant on dragons like House Targaryen once was, uh, so I think they needed a, a pretty big fleet to back that up. I'm going to take a look in this little house. Uh, this looks like a bakery. We've got some bread baking in that big oven there. Uh, let's go upstairs and check out some of the living quarters. Uh, got those little table and chairs. Um, oh, cool. There's this little loft area. A little bed up here for maybe a, a disliked cousin or something. <laughs> um, okay, let's head back out. Uh, so our final destination is going to be High Tide. And you can see it just over there, uh, which is a uh, sort of a Valyrian-styled castle. If you take a look at uh, Dragonstone, it also uses all these really cool dark materials. Um, and we've chosen to go for a very unique-looking... Um, bronze and iron roof there, which is that sort of bluish material for the roof. Um, let's make our way around this way. We've got some apple orchards here, which are lovely. Um, feel, fields and farms for some livestock in the area as well. Um, this is really cool. We get a little chicken coop here. Let's see if I can get in. Uh, a little chicken coop in there. Close the door. Um, you know, just nice little details like that. Uh, you've got, uh, a well here. This looks like a little farmstead. Uh, here being uh, the stables. Got a crate full of carrots there for the horses. Um, oh, cool. We've got a little outhouse here. Also very important. You can see some uh, some moss growing down there from the <laughs> fertilizer being dumped on there. Uh, so right, so this is High Tide, the castle of House Valerian. Uh, it's a very formidable looking castle. I think it's described that way as well. Uh, I think that when, um, I don't remember which king it was, but, uh, one of the, uh, prominent lords of Valerian died, and one of the kings of Westeros, one of the Targaryen kings, brought his court here for the funeral, and, uh, it was a septon that, that said, and wrote down in his, uh, in his book on the Dance of Dragons, that, uh, Driftmark reminded him of sort of a little Valyria because of the architecture, and, uh, you know, the volcano and, and the dragons flying around eating sheep. <laughs> so here we are in the castle of High Tide. We're just going to take a little look around. I'm not too familiar with this castle, but uh, I'm pretty confident that every corner is uh, full of great detail. You can see out into the yard there. Let's see if we can... Yeah, we can walk down this way. Um, so really cool, like these beautiful dark brick, uh, black sort of nether brick textures to create that dark Valyrian gloomy feel. Um, we do have some nice flowers being grown here. We've got another well here with a bucket full of water ready to be used. Um, let's see if I can find the Great Hall that may be back up here. Uh, here we go. There's the Great Hall of High Tide. We've got the banners of House Valeria there. Or Valeria, Valerian. <laughs> so confusing. Why did he name it Valerian? It's almost exactly the same pronunciation as Valerian. Um, the slight change, but uh, I don't even know if I'm saying it right. But that's that's uh, that's part of the uh, the magic of George R. R. Martin. Um, you get to pronounce things your own way. Uh, this looks like a cool little library slash sitting area, study. Well, there's a there might be a Septon's quarters then. We've got a, f a banner of the Faith of the Seven. There, uh, let's head up these stairs. Uh, this way. Oh, cool. This is sort of like a planning area, maybe a, a war room, get some bread and cheese waiting on the table. Alright, let's uh, hop onto the roof there. It's a pretty sturdy roof, so I feel pretty confident uh, stepping on it. <laughs> um, cool, so here we are. We're going to look out. That's the town of uh, Spice Town down there. And uh, you can see that the beautiful iron roofs there and the, the big towers of, of high tide. Um, this island continues that way on a long point. Um, of uh, sandy beaches and tidal beaches, which are really cool to explore. Um, so there it is. That's our scenic overview for the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.